Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. As you guys saw by the title, we'll be doing the Sephora VIB sale. I have regrets, recommendations, and my wish list. We have a lot in one video, but first, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and without further ado, let's just get started. We're a little bit pale, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Am I convincing you or me? <laughs> anyway, so if you guys don't know, if you live, live under a rock, the Sephora VIB sale is either like maybe just a few days away when I'm uploading this. Um, I wanted to do it a little before the sale. So let's see. Yeah, I think two days away. It depends on what um, rank you are. So I'm a Sephora VIB, so I'm the second tier. Yeah, so it starts 1028, um, and if you guys are the highest tier, you guys start the 28th. If you're the second tier, you start November 1st, and then if you're the third tier, I think you start like the third or the fourth or something like that, I'm not sure exactly, but um, I get 15% off, the higher tier gets 20% off, and the lowest tier gets 10% off. Um, if you're someone who's never shopped at, Ulta, at Sephora before, or if you rarely shop at Sephora, um, did I say Sephora Ulta? Oh, uh oh. <laughs> if you're someone who's never shopped at Sephora before or this is your first time shopping or like you've only gone a couple of times so you don't really know what rank you are, you're probably going to get 10% off, which is totally fine. Just make sure you sign up so you guys get a percentage off, you know? Um, the Sephora collection is going to be 30% off as well, so they kind of do it a little separately because Sephora is their, it's their brand. Yes. <laughs> um, but we're going to go through some product regrets. So again, they do this every single year. So if you miss it this year, honestly, you could just wait for the next one. They do it twice a year, I should mention as well. Um, so again, if you miss this one or whatever the case is, just go ahead and wait. <laughs> it's like exciting every year because obviously Sephora doesn't really do sales, but it happens every year. So it's kind of just like however you take it. All right, let's go in with the products that, let's talk about the product regret. So last year, I kind of placed a small order. Um, it ended up being like a high total, of course, but I placed um, one order first, actually, because I knew I was going to get these no matter what else I decided. So I decided to pick this one up separately separately than the rest. So I picked up, they had a little cute Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss Trio. So it came with three of the original, three of the, um, it, at the time, there's only three shades. So it was the shades, um... Rosy Outlook, Velvet, and the shade Daisy Pink. Um, so that was really cool. You got to try them. And I remember she still talks about them all the time. Babs Beauty, she loves them. And I love them, honestly. I want to use up... I'll buy a full size when I use up all three of these. <laughs> because if it's been a year. Like, honestly, as much as, like, this one is almost empty. I'm panning this one right now. And then this one's pretty close to as well. As much as they're all pretty close to empty, like, a year, I should have used this, been used these up. But I actually was really happy with this purchase. So I don't really regret it. Um, that, that much, <laughs> and obviously it's just hard to title this thing, like, products I bought last year, you know what I mean? So I kind of had to say regrets, but I don't regret this one at all, honestly. I think it was 25 bucks for three little guys. I, last year I was like, these are so small, like, one use and they're almost done. Here we are a year later and I have all three of them, so. <sighs> I don't know why I think I just use up products so well. I love minis, but, like, one mini to me would be great, because then I could use it up, you know what I mean, and move on with my life. Um... <laughs> And then we picked up, so next we picked up, uh, we placed the full order, but the next product we'll talk about is the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. I wanted this so bad. I'm, see, I'm not wearing any setting spray. I wanted this so bad um, because I've seen a lot of people talk about it, and I love Rare Beauty as a whole. We'll talk about it in a little bit. But <laughs> I wanted this setting spray so bad, I was kind of collecting for a full face slowly. Not really. I really wanted to try this one, really, in keeping in mind that eventually I wanted to do a full, full face of Rare Beauty. Um, but this one I just really wanted on its own. So honestly, a year, half use, not very good. Honestly, I would probably, a year I should probably be using up <laughs> an item. <laughs> like, this should be an empty. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> but I do love the setting spray so much. It really just melts into your face. It really is the f best four-in-one mist. It sets your makeup. It makes it last a little bit longer. But it has this, like, luminosity to it. It's not matte or drying or anything like that. This is great for my dry skin girls, gals same difference <laughs> um but yes I am so so freaking glad I picked it up now the rest of the three products I do regret purchasing so this was I wanted to do a video kind of finally trying makeup by Mario that video did do really well on my channel I just have to get out of the habit of 
not necessarily buying makeup for YouTube because that's a lot of why I buy makeup. I look like freaking Elsa when she gets hit with like the thing and it's just like one piece of white hair. Like, whoa, she's blonde. The rest of it is like not that light. Okay, wow. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I gotta get out of the habit of buying like just for specific videos almost because then I use it for that video and then what else am I gonna do with it? Like, whereas if I buy the products I want and then put them in a video, Obviously, I get the best of both worlds, so that's always ideal, and I know sometimes they're products that I buy because I know you guys will like them. That's totally fine as well, but I feel like sometimes I just get in my head, I'm like, I have to do, a, uh, I have to test out Makeup by Mario, and it's like, I don't know why, because, like, not that you guys don't like Makeup by Mario, people love Makeup by Mario, but it wasn't that exciting. I mean, the video did do well, but you know what I'm saying. Same difference. Anyway, so I picked up three products for that. Like, all the other products that were in my wish list were out the cart. Literally, I think the only product that's, that was this one, because I believe these were new. And then the Mike Bar Mario was just out of nowhere. Um, so <laughs> I picked up the bronzer, which, okay, these aren't regrets, like they're bad products because these are good products. So this is the Soft Sculpt Bronzer in the shade Medium. It's a nice bronzer. Obviously, that does not look like a year's worth of use, although you could see some indents, which is nice. It's just a bronzer. It's literally just a bronzer. And so, like, not that it was expensive or anything like that. Like, I have the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, which is way, way, way more expensive and way more irritating because I don't use it, but <laughs> it's just a bronzer. So it's like, did I really need to um, buy this? Really? No. Okay. And same with the blush. So at least luckily for the blush, the reason why I've kept the blush around for so long, this is a soft pop powder blush in the shade Wildberry. The reason why I've kept this around for so long is because the shade is unique to my collection. I definitely picked a great shade. It's like a unique more plum. I don't wear it a lot, but honestly, I will definitely wear it more than like the bronzer, let's say, because I have so many basic matte bronzers, um, whereas I don't have that many shades like this. So that's really nice. I definitely have to put it in my like everyday makeup basket for, um, or kind of everyday makeup drawer for, um, fall or whatever I want to do. I don't know. I, I'm torn about my, just real quick, random tangent, but I'm torn about my everyday makeup basket because I don't know, like I don't like to be tied down to products, but I do like, but I, some products I like to be tied down to. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain that. Like right now, the foundation I'm wearing, I'll just mention it a little bit. I just will reach for it every single day and I like being able just to reach for it whenever I want. And not feel guilty about all the other foundations, whereas, where since it's, so since it's in my everyday makeup store, it's fine, but since it's, since it's not within my collection, um, but I'm like, I, I need to use it all. Long story, but I don't know what to do with it. Anyway, I also picked up, this is the By Mario Ultra Suede Lipstick in the shade Kate. I actually moved this to my makeup kit, because I don't use this lipstick. I mean, like, it's a nice color, honestly, and I don't know why I don't use it, but I just don't use it, so... Um, there's that. <laughs> I literally don't. I don't even, I don't know why I bother buying lip products from brands, honestly, that aren't just like a lip gloss. <laughs> really, it's pretty and all, but it's not literally that serious. Anyway, so, I'm, this year, my theme for this year's, um, VIB sale is just to buy products that I want. Like, just the ones that, you know, I probably wouldn't get because they're full price, or like I probably would have, you know, skipped past, or, you know, stuff like that. Just things that I want, or want some things that I want for the holidays, like that kind of stuff is what my goal is for this VIB sale. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's get into recommendations really, really quick. Like I mentioned, the Sephora, entire Sephora collection is 30% off. So it's that's for everyone. Um, it does still only, I believe it only runs the, does it run the whole time? I don't know. Yeah, okay, so Sephora collection, it does run October 28th to November 7th, so that's for everyone. Sorry, my nose is crazy. But um, that is for everyone. So you can pick up whatever you want during the, that length of period for 30% off the Sephora collection. I had to bring my entire collection down, well, 90% of my Sephora collection down because I have so many banger products. I'm just gonna run through them quickly because um, I know you guys have heard it over and over and over again. Primer, this is the Sephora um, Beauty Amplifier Hydrate, um, Hydrating Face Primer. It comes out like a blue face primer. So good, so hydrating. This is perfect for fall because it is so, so hydrating, so juicy. It melts into your skin. It's not like super watery, but it has like this watery aspect to it that like turns into a little bit thicker. And so it really like 
melts into your face but also like kind of adds a layer of hydration on your face and it is perfection i love it it's only a couple bucks so you can get it for 30 percent off so for collection foundations i've described and talked about these for so long um this is the clean glowing skin foundation and this is the best skin ever i reach more for the best skin ever during the fall i reach more for the clean glowing skin during the summer but uh, either one is amazing obviously this one's way more glowy they're both like more of a medium coverage um and they last all day long they just work so well with other products they're beautiful amazing foundations the concealer the star of the show i love this concealer and i was not expecting it to love it as much as i did it's the, again the best skin ever but it's a full coverage concealer which you guys know i don't like full coverage but this just blends right into your skin it's seamless it's flawless it does not crease it does not budge it looks perfection under the eyes and I really was not expecting to love this as much as I do. <laughs> and then really quick, the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. It really is like this micro smooth, oh my gosh, beautiful powder. It's so lightweight, so airy. It just looks flawless. It sets your makeup so perfectly without drying it out. I do think that people with more combo skin might like this more than people with dry skin because I feel like it leans a little bit more of a matte, more like soft matte or more, more soft matte kind of finish. It's not necessarily like uh uh, this luminous setting spray it's not like that so um it is more for like i feel like people on the other spectrum not so much dry if your skin is extremely dry probably not but it's still amazing and it looks so stunning on the face i can use it i should say and i have dry skin <laughs> real quick eyeshadow the i love um palettes are amazing i think they're like rebranding these or something but these are actually on sale so i believe you can get an extra 30 percent off i'm not sure exactly but i'm pretty sure if you can oh my gosh get it this is the deep warm one it is so stunning the formula is smooth it's creamy it's buttery and it's just like your basic neutrals that you cannot go wrong with um so freaking stunning and then you know the love of my life um the sephora colorful crayon contour eye pencil in the shade tiramisu i mean when i use this up i'll repurchase i'll purchase again and again and again and again because this color is like my child the love of my life perfect for fall so stunning this one like obviously get everything but like add this to your car as well <laughs> And then we have the Sephora Size Up Mascara. I love this mascara. It really is vol volumizing, lengthening, curling. It's the perfect mascara. It has a really nice one. It's only like 12 bucks, and then you get 30% off of it. It's amazing. I raved about it, so let's move on. <laughs> so that's all I recommend for the Sephora collection. I've tried so much. I mean, I've tried a lot of makeup in general, but I mean, I've tried so much from the Sephora collection brand because I love it so much. I don't even have a full face yet. I'm going to do a full face eventually. Um, you'll see my wish list. There's a couple products that I want to get still, but... I just I want to keep trying the brand over and over again because I love it. Another brand that I'm just going to mention real quick and then we'll go back to individual products. But that is, of course, Rare Beauty. Um, of course, there are like the really expensive bougie brands that you can get on a half off or like price off. But these are the ones that are just really, these are the brands that I think are so good and don't like miss out on it because you get a discount and they're already first of all rare beauty is already cheap and so is sephora collection so you gotta really you're getting these products basically for drugstore prices at this point um but of course my rare beauty illuminating primer for my dry skin girls so illuminating but it's so moisturizing and so hydrating as well it does everything and it's perfection of course the rare beauty um positive light tinted moisturizer i like this one i don't like the original foundation i like this one because it's like a lot more lightweight a lot more, a lot more dry skin girl friendly um so this one i kind of reach for more in the summer but it's a nice one to have on hand when you want something lightweight like coverage and you just want to like you know look a little bit put together this is your bestie um of course like i mentioned the setting spray as well like if you want to pick this up it's so good honestly <laughs> so glad I already <laughs> I picked it up last year um but then we have the rare beauty cream bronzer I love this bronzer and I haven't been able to use it all summer because it's a little light for my tan but it'll work now <laughs> so I gotta like put it put it back in rotation it is so beautiful so creamy so blendable so smooth I cannot say it enough and then we have the liquid blushes of course everyone their mom is gonna pick it up um, so there are a couple like mini sets, but the shade, um, I was gonna say the shade terracotta, <laughs> the shade love is just this beautiful like terracotta kind of color that is perfection for the fall time. Um, and again, a little bit goes a long way. You guys know the drill. I also surprisingly love the Rare Beauty Mascara. It is so <laughs> beautiful on the lashes. It makes them look long and just voluptuous, but it has this like hold to them that they will not move all day long like they will not move at all they the exact way you you brush them up they will stay it's the most bizarre thing i've never seen anything like it um so i love this mascara i have a little mini guy here so i would get the full size if i didn't have it already <laughs> if i didn't have this one already but i'm just saying i was gonna bring my water but then i was like nah we like quick who am i kidding all right 
So real quick, just to go in order of like the steps that I do my makeup for foundation real quick. I didn't have a primer or anything like that. For foundation, the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. I just have a little sample guy here. It's what I'm wearing today and I am obsessed. I wear it every single time I do my makeup because I cannot get enough of it. Like I literally cannot get enough of it. It is so beautiful. It's like a more medium coverage medium buildable kind of coverage you can even wear a little bit more sheer which i do sometimes um but it just is so skin like so perfect it honestly like to me it's not even like a dewy or hydrating finish it is more just like a natural finish it's just like your face honestly so whatever you add to it it kind of just works with its perfection honestly and i really i i, I want a full size i do but, <laughs> first of all, it's expensive. So, obviously, if you're going to get it, get it now while you get the discount. But, also, I have this guy. So, I'm like, if I use this one up, then maybe I'll reward myself. But, honestly, knowing myself, I'm going to use this probably for a few weeks longer. And then, like, it'll stay in my collection while I get new foundations. Because it's just how I do things. It's so bad. Bad habit. Um, but, I do love this a lot. And I really 10 out of 10 recommend. I've been using it nonstop for weeks, literally. And then for concealer, the um, Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Illuminating Soothing Concealer. I love this concealer as well. Um, this is one of the very few like products I love, love, love from Too Faced. Like Too Faced, I have a couple, but um, this is just so stunning. It's so blendable. If you guys remember the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Creamy Concealer, <laughs> that this is very similar. This has more of a whipped consistency, a whipped texture, but honestly, the coverage is very similar. The blendability is similar. It's just the formula is similar. It's so juicy under the eyes. It looks lightweight. It looks flawless you can see it under my eyes it just looks so good it looks airbrushed but it looks natural and it still covers up what you want it to cover up so I feel like it's really nice it's not a full coverage by any means um the Sephora collection definitely has a more fuller coverage but this one is really really nice I 10 out of 10 recommend oh my gosh it's so good I'm talking like so fast but it's okay <laughs> well while we were talking while we were here this is a Tarte Breezy Cream Blush and Bronzer Palette. I do have to say, I met, I saw, I was trying to look at products that the best deal is right now to get them on. Because obviously, like, certain brands do their own deals that are just, like, not worth it to talk about it here. Because, like, might as well get it when, you, like, the brand does it. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or, like, whatever. Um, this, specifically, the Tarte Custom Kit is coming around the corner. Um, and I would definitely be picking it up. But I just wanted to mention that because, like, if you can get this in the Tarte, I don't know what it's going to be in the Tarte Custom Kit. So if you want to wait for that, when you get some Tarte products, obviously wait for that. But obviously if you don't want to wait, <laughs> this is amazing. I love, love, love the Breezy Cream Formula. The shade Seychelles is the love of my life. It's just the prettiest bronzer. It's so blendable, so creamy. It's just so easy. The formula is literal, like, it's, it's, it's foolproof. Honestly, it's literally foolproof. Um, and the blushes are setting as well. The bronzer is, like, really the star of the show but I love these kind of palettes where you kind of get everything you can kind of just go in with the bronzer then hit the blush and you're good to go um they're so stunning and I think this is like $35 like it's a great deal in general but if you can get a discount on it I 10 out of 10 recommend the Tarte formula is kind of underrated I feel like people like it like um what's her name <laughs> some youtuber I watch like really likes it I know it's her favorite cream formula as well but like it's not as hyped as it probably should be it's amazing honestly it's one of the best cream formulas like most foolproof easy cream formulas in general this one uh, I'll mention while I'm talking about this, this is the LYS um no limits cream bronzer contour thing in the shade harmony now this shade is just super deep these run deep the rare beauty run light these Tarte run perfection <laughs> now the Tarte ones actually don't have a lot of shades so none of these have freaking really amazing shades honestly um but all together you know just pick one but this formula is also blendable, it's smooth, it's creamy. I think this one has, like, a, I, and I honestly said this because I had a moment where I was like, wait, which one would I choose? Like, if I could go back, the thing is that I would like to have both. The shades are just so different. These are both the second shade up, and, like, the difference is, like, incredible. It's like, oh my gosh, such a huge difference between the colors of them. Like, this one's so deep, and, well, let me just re-swatch it. Like, this one is so deep, and then this one is so much lighter and they're both the second shade up so it really just depends on your shade because you can even see the formulas there they just look so creamy the lys is a little bit creamier um but i don't to me it like not that it doesn't matter but um i feel like they're, they're both like they both have things that i like more about them if that makes sense um i don't know if that makes any sense to anyone but um i guess depending on the shade i would pick up one or the other now I have nothing to wipe my hands with. Okay, got something. But anyway, I love them both, so 10 out of 10 recommend both. But, um, yes. <laughs> 
said that already. All right. And then a setting powder. I love the Kosas Cloud Set setting powder. I freaking, I just, I, oh my gosh. This is one of like my most used, like huge products like this. Um, because it's so setting. Like obviously it's not as much use as probably <laughs> for someone who's, this is their only setting powder. Um, but because they have so many, obviously this one's not, but it is so beautiful. It really does set your face. I know a lot of people were like, what's the hype? But I'm like, for me and my dry skin, it's perfect because it sets your makeup so nicely with this like cloud kind of vibe to it but it doesn't dry out your face but it doesn't leave it luminous or glowy or hydrated it leaves well, not not hydrate hydrate is not a word <laughs> that I meant to use it doesn't leave it glowy or like anything like that it sets but it's not dry so I think it's perfect this one's kind of the epitome of a dry skin girls powder who wants to be like more of a natural finish but doesn't want to be dry basically Okay, and then next we have the Pat McGrath blush. Oh my gosh, does this not have the name on it? <laughs> oh yeah, it's the Skin Fetish blush in the shade, Divine Blush in the shade Paradise Venus. Oh my gosh, I'm wearing it right now and it is just so beautiful. I love, love, love this color. I'm so glad I picked this color up because it is so stunning. It's more of like a deeper kind of more neutrally kind of shade, um, but it is so beautiful, so blendable, so smooth. The color of it is perfection. It's expensive. So this is a real treat yourself moment, but I feel like if you really want to treat yourself, do it. Just do it because you will not regret it. This is stunning. The formula is superb. Um, she has plenty of palettes as well too. I've never tried a palette of hers, um, and I really have no desire to, but if you're someone who, um, they're the blush palettes or whatever, and if you are like kind of interested, I love this blush formula. So um, again, I'm not, I've never tried them, but I would say go for it, because <laughs> YOLO. All right, real quick, let's do two eyeshadow palettes. So I just, I love this formula and I could not not talk about it. Um, this is the Artist Couture formula. They have the, they have the Supreme Bronze. They have a different one, but this is the two that I have. The Supreme Bronze is so gorgeous. It's for my neutral girls who just want, you know, just easy shades that blend themselves. I know so many people are haters of this formula, but I so strongly recommend. It's blendable, it's smooth, it's creamy, it's delicious. It blends itself, honestly. And the shades, too, are just so easy. You can almost go, like, straight across and... Okay, no, maybe not. <laughs> but the top row, you can go straight across and just use those if you want to do something more um, gray, more, you know... What is the word? something smoky that's the word <laughs> um but then you have like your bronzes as well you have some gold you have your new it has everything and i just i'm, I'm just a uh, literal obsessed anyway um love this palette love this formula anyway this one i recommend again for those neutral girls if you want something a little bit more fun a little bit more like oops oof like oof <laughs> this is the supreme mobs and this one is even more controversial than the supreme bronze but this one is so freaking gorgeous i'm wearing it on my eyes today it is so easy to me and i just i cannot understand why people don't like this i get it it's not like no i don't even know what i get the mattes are stunning they're beautiful they're easy they're blendable i don't know if there was a dud batch or something like that but i'm just wearing like this one shade the shade stripped down over here on the lid and then i'm wearing this in the um, cre oh no, sorry, the shade Royal and like the crease in the lower lash line. It was just so easy, so smooth, so blendable. I just, every time I look at this palette, it is so stunning. I really don't think you could go wrong at all. I also want to pick up the regular one, but I'll probably get that on like Mercari or something like that. Anyway, I 10 out of 10 recommend. They are so good. Get the discount, guys. Get the discount. I wish they did like holiday stuff. Like, Artist Couture is not that fun. Whereas, like, you know, certain brands come out with like holiday stuff, and you're like, oh my gosh, like, I haven't seen that much, that much from Artist Couture. I believe the last palette was the Supreme Mobs, and that was quite a while ago. Um, so, there's that. All right, mascara, of course, the Tower 28 Make Waves mascara. I'm sure, I don't even know if it's available right now because it probably sold out. This formula is so good. I'm wearing it on this side today. <laughs> um, we're having some technical difficulties over here, and I probably shouldn't be wearing makeup. I know, but I had to do it, and then I put on a mascara that I knew I could throw out, so I felt like that was okay. <laughs> anyway, this mascara is so lengthening, it is so curling, I didn't even put on that many layers, and it just looks so good, because I always, like, if I'm gonna go take it off or whatever, I don't want to waste it, but <laughs> it is so freaking good, it looks so beautiful, I love it on the lower lashes as well, I just, I, I hated the wand at first, but I, I've grown to like it a lot, I mean, it's perfection, and everyone has raved about this, I don't even know what else to say. Okay, almost done. Two more pro two more two two, two more cat two more li lip products. Kinda two more. <laughs> so next we have the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. I have the shade here buttered rum. I don't think this one is available anymore, but look at that. 
look how close we are to using this bad boy up i'm so excited and not that i want to use it up to get rid of it i want to use it up because I, I this is a little old and hopefully i can get a new one in the tart custom kit soon but these are so juicy and then these are pigmented i want to try the juicy um, lip liners because these are just so delicious and I know people will go back and forth they're like it's not worth it it's worth it it's so you know you know it's it always goes back and forth but I'm here to tell you that I think they're so worth it and again if you can get a discount on them do it um they just make your lips look so juicy and it's so easy it's almost like a like you the work you put in almost to do a lip liner <laughs> lipstick then lip gloss is this effect in one product it is so easy and I mean it's just like it's hype for a reason and on my humble opinion but um Honestly, I tend to recommend their sets as well for the holidays. Whatever you can get, I say grab it. Grab it if they're not sold out already, I should say. Okay, and last is why I was, like, not counting right. Because these are the two face hangover RX pillow bombs, but obviously I have three of them. <laughs> but anyway, so the shade that I love the most is the original. I love the original the most. The ones that I have that I still love the most is the shade Mango Kiss. So they are have a slight pigment to them. You can tell they're colored, I guess I should say. Like, you can tell, like, that's a little bit peachy -er. it's hard to tell so it's hard to tell with this shade because this shade honestly it's not that much peachier than like the original but the shade like watermelon kiss you can tell it's a little bit more pink on the lips especially if you're a deeper skin tone and so that one it just depends on what you're looking for and this one definitely has some has sparkle to it um the lower down i get i realize that really it's just all sparkles so one day i'm just gonna have to call it on this because like the one day i wore it and if you don't like kind of get her going you're just gonna get a whole batch of spark sparkles and they're pretty and all and it's like don't get me wrong i love the formula but like sometimes i don't want to be wearing sparkles <laughs> so i got a cute little set last year i think ooh, i got a cute little set last year it's definitely not available anymore but um and i don't think the shade frost yourself is available anymore but i know you can get watermelon kiss um i recommend just picking up one honestly get the original if you just want to try it because they're so good i mean you'll fall in love and want more <laughs> but like if you want to be modest now <laughs> if you want to restrain yourself a little bit just pick up the original and you'll you'll won't regret it but the shade mango kiss is really fun and fresh as well and it smells delightful so good they make your lips look plump and juicy they feel so good it's not tingly it does not hurt but you do do your lips do look a little bit juicier a little bit more plump it's perfection Okay, that was everything, so it's a good thing that my wish list is not super, super long. Per usual, I usually don't have a super long wish list. I, I always buy what I want when I want it, <laughs> so it's hard to, like, save for the VIB sale. I don't know how people possibly do that, but anyway, because I also don't like to see the, um, like, the total all at one time. I'm like, I don't know how people just spend $500 like that. I'm like, I probably definitely spent $500 in total, but that doesn't mean I want to spend $500 right now. Um, but let me move over just so you guys can see. So, um, the one product that I, I don't know if it'll come back in stock, but I have the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand in my favorites list, the medium dark one. I'm sure the fair medium one will probably work for me. So, I don't know, maybe should I just get it? No, I don't know. I'd rather go with the medium dark one, I guess I should say. So, um, I don't know, but this one's in my, oh crap, this one's in my, um, favorites because, um, I just tried the blush and the highlighter, and I just, I love them in this formula, and so, oh my gosh, I should turn my phone on or something. Anyway, but, um, I thought about, I, I thought, I thought about this one, but it's not in stock, so it's okay, I don't have to really decide. Um, but then we, let, let me just jump to my cart, because this is like my cart, my pre-made cart. So I do want to pick up the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Multitasking Baked baked face palette so again this is 30% off 20 bucks man like that you cannot go wrong <laughs> with that um and you get four different colors I don't know how deep this is going to be um so it might work for my pale skin like when I'm super pale or like when I wear a foundation that's too light for me um uh, but it looks so beautiful and I've heard such good things about it I want it kind of bad honestly and I do want to again, again eventually do a full face of Sephora collection the thing is that I, and I just didn't know I was talking about the Makeup by Mario stuff, but the thing is that I have so many from Sephora Collection that I love already, that it's like, even if this disappointed me, I wouldn't be disappointed because, um, I tried it, you know, and I want to go, I want to try, like, honestly, the entire, everything. So, there's that. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what order I'm going in. We're just going to go back to my favorites list, okay? Um, this is the Sephora Collection Wishing You Eye Makeup Set. If you guys watch my video on Monday, there are some sets in here that I'm going to, um, pick up during the sale. This one is one of them. This one's one of them. It's $22. It's the um, Sephora 
what is this big by defining mascara I want to try it because I love the big I'm sorry the size up mascara so much I want to try this one it comes with a, a colorful crayon contour eye pencil in a black shade and so I'm like it's perfect and then it does come with a little mini shadow which I don't know how much use I'll get out of it but I feel like it was like a little they just, like wanted to throw something else in there because I feel like value wise you don't really need to throw something else in there because I feel like it's still a great value I believe the mascara is 12 and then the or the mascara is 13 12 or 13 and then the liner is 12 or 13 so like either way you're saving like five six bucks with the like with the duo do, do, I don't know but um I thought it was really fun and fresh and super cute and so I'm definitely picking that up I'm excited about that this is another one that was fun and fresh and cute <laughs> this is the rare beauty kind words mini matte lip duo again I talked about this on Monday but this is so cute and I wanted to try this lip products for since they came out but um I'm don't need like a full-size lipstick i don't need a full-size lip liner i have so many that i know i just won't use but i want to try it so i'm like the best way to do that is obviously get a mini set it's perfection um so i definitely want to give that a go it's 20 bucks for two little guys i i don't think that's a bad deal again you get i get um 15 off so i think it's a great deal i'm just clicking things man left and right um so we'll see um okay that one's not for this <laughs> okay so then the other product that i'm going to definitely pick up the sephora collection wishing you advent calendar so this is 45 dollars for all of these freaking products like are you kidding me sephora look at all these you got a red lipstick liquid lipstick which i'm very excited about some red nail polish which i'm also really excited about <laughs> we got some single shadows which again i don't know how much i'll use and i honestly don't know if how the shades overlap like if they they're the same shades i hope they're probably different shades honestly but they have a red lip liner a black eyeliner, I know, another one. <laughs> and then they have like some skincare. I love the Sephora collection skincare. So I'm so freaking excited for this, honestly. I just, I'm so excited. And I haven't done like, I have never, I don't even know if they've ever done an advent calendar. But I think, I think I'm going to do like a week where I unbox the Lunar Beauty advent calendar, this advent calendar, and then maybe one from Target if I actually get it. Um, So we'll see, but I'm very excited about that. And then I want to pick up the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I miss it. I miss it so badly. Like, I don't even understand how I miss it so badly because I have so many good concealers. But this one was just so specific. It was so creamy. So blendable. Like, so beautiful under the eyes. Honestly, it made me look, like, feel, like, so young. And I'm like, I don't feel old. But, like, I feel like my under eyes were just flawless with it. And I have some really banger concealers. I mentioned quite a few, but this one, something about it was just so special. It was so juicy. It was so supple and just like, mm, that I need it back in my life. It's $28, which is expensive, but um, I think I, I just need to do it. I want to get the full size foundation as well eventually, but right now I just don't need it. Um, but I want this concealer back in my life. I don't need it, but I want it so bad. I'm like, for my wants... I can only have so many wants because I want everything here, but I don't need the, I, the foundation I convinced myself not to get quite yet. I'm so excited. Anyway, so that's are the five products, honestly, that I want. This product was, I am like a little bit annoyed. <laughs> so this is the Kaja Mini Lip Shots Hydrating Lip Gloss, Lip Gloss Set. So I picked up the other lip gloss set as well. It had two other like mini shades. This one was um, available for a while. Then it went out of stock when I was just, literally when I was just about to purchase it. And then it came back in stock. Now I'm like, great, great, right in time for the VIB sale, huh? So I don't know if I'm going to pick this up. It's, it's in my hearts list still. I haven't removed it from my hearts list because I was thinking of doing like a lip swatch video of the Kaja lip glosses, but I don't know if that'll be worth it because like I feel like lip gloss is very, like obviously lip products you can wear whatever and people are wearing lip gloss all the time, but I feel like certain lip glosses are just like summer <laughs> and like since it's fall, it's like I want to wear something matte and you know. I don't know. So I don't know. But that one is $15. So you got a great deal on it. But um, it decided to come back like right in time. <laughs> right in time. So anyway, again, those are the only the five products that I'm getting. I really don't think I'll sway too, too much. Um, if at all. Maybe I might decide like I don't need. No, I want it so bad. I might decide about those eye, eye makeup set just because um, there are a couple... There are, the, I have a, there's going to be a black liner in the advent calendar as well as a single shadow. So then it would be just buying the mascara and then why don't I just buy the mascara? But I also don't think that the liner is the, um, the liner is the colorful crayon contour eye pencil. So, and I like that formula. So I don't know. I don't know. But if anything, that's what I'm getting. Uh, and I wanted to show you guys that. And yes, right now that total is $135. Which I honestly could place the order now, but like, 
Why not save? Let's, let's do math. $150, not bad. $15, not bad. I don't know if you can use your 10 points because I do have some points, but I don't know if you can use them. Um, so I'll have to see, but... That is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you're picking up during the Sephora VAB sale. Did I convince you to pick up anything? That is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.